good yeah. afternoon. Yeah, today we are going to be cooking some soup. It's not every time women will be in the kitchen. So today I've asked my wife to take a back step why I prepare I prepare her a very good and delicious soup. I'm going to prepare two soup. One is uh, the one they call a dikaiko. Why the other one is the Ibo soup called uh, Unfe Sala is prepared with yam. So I'm peeling the yam for that. When I peel the yam, I will not boil it. I'll boil it. After boiling it, I'll blend the yam. Then we all witness the procedure. If you have not uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go and subscribe. It's called McDouglas. McDouglas Amama. You will see the link on my Facebook. And uh, we're going to be posting this video there. After everything. So, as I was saying, I'm peeling the yam that will be used to cook the soup. It's called white soup. Why the Igbo call it unfe unsala soup? The Igbo call it unfe unsala soup. It's cooked with yam. You, you boil the yam and blend it. The dika call everything is ready. But I just say I should boil the yam while making that one. So I'm peeling the yam for the white soup. So if you are a man, you don't know how to cook, that's not good at all. Sometimes you have to tell your woman to your woman, your wife, to take the back seat while you do the cooking. Like me, there's nothing I can't cook. I can cook fried rice. I can cook stew. Sometimes when I make stew, my wife will say, mm, your stew is very delicious, more than mine. <laughs> because I learned it when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I learned it. Being the, the eldest, I have to learn how to cook for my younger ones when I was growing up. So, today we are cooking unfe unsala soup and edi kaiko. Edi kaiko. That's the, is it, is it, is, is it the calabar soup? Everything is ready. Everything is ready here for the soup. I just want to pee the yam. Let me repeat again for those that are just joining me. I want to pee the yam and boil it for the Igbo soup. <coughs> called <coughs> Mfe Usala soup. It is also called the white soup. The meat is boiled already. I will, I will show you guys. When I want to start the Dikaiko soup now, I will show you guys the meat. I need to recut some of the meat again. Then we proceed. If you are out there, your husband don't know how to cook. Invite him straight away and share the video. Share the video. Tell your husband to come to the class. Today's class is how to cook soup. So, almost done with the yam, with the peeling.
the kitchen is not just for the women alone, you know. Sometimes you too treat your family to some delicious meal. Like me, I can make uh, what they call chili con carne. That's one of my 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 favorites that I, I make. When I make chili con carne, my wife is oh, she said I should give her the formula. When I say come and look when I'm preparing it, she don't have the patience. So, okay. Boom, boom, boom. The yam is almost done. The yam is almost done. The meat is boiled already. So, there is no waiting. We don't have to wait again for that. It's been raining. It's been um, raining Saturday over here in the UK. Uh, it was raining hail. Ice was falling. I can. I, I was seeing a lot of video bringing out there. A lot of people bringing out their camera and. Um, video in the rain because uh, it was raining hail hail what what in case of some of you that don't know what it is uh, ice it was just ice everywhere on the floor on the car okay now I'm transferring the yam to the pox Then I have to trim the meat. I have to trim the meat. I have everything ready here. Everything is ready. Let me tidy up this one, put them in the bin. I like. Um, well, what is that word I normally use? Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Clean as you are cooking. If not, everything will get piled up and it get tired. So. Okay, that's done. Now, let me bring the meat. Okay, what I'll do now, because uh, these locust, locust beans, locust beans, there's a local name for it. Locust beans. Uh, I think the Igbo call it Dawa Dawa or something. Something like that. Uh, let me raise the camera so that you can see. That's the meat. Yep. No, I don't want it to go like that. I'm trying to set the camera to give you guys a better view. A better view of what I'm doing. Yeah. Or right, if I if I just need a little bit of adjustment so that you can see the meatball. Camera 
is almost falling. Okay, guys, just give me one second. One second. Let me set this thing up and um, the process. The process. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let me use this. Put it up back here. this way no still on the back camera like this let's see I'm trying to set the camera to give you a better view of what I'm doing so just bear with me one minute one second please I'm trying to set this thing up for a better view so that I want the people at the back of the class to be seeing everything in the board I don't want to let those at the front to benefit from this class. Let me get my other stand. Four stands. This one is this one. Would this one be? Oh, the only thing is I can't charge this phone when I'm doing this with this one. Like this. Let's manage it anyway. Let's manage it. My phone holder is messing up. What is that? Oh, I need to add some water. Okay. This meat issue, I'm trying to set the camera to give you a good view of them of the meat, the way I'm going to cut them. Okay. I think that's fine. That's fine. Okay. This is the meat. So there are some I need to still cut them. It's better when it's they are not that big in the soup. I'm using a cooking scissors. This is our cooking scissors. Okay. This is Bomo. I have Bomo here. I have Shaki. Is that okay already? Okay. Um, I have uh, the one called Abody. This is Abody. There's goat's meat as well, so I need to cut the meat to divide the meat into two, one for the Dikaiko soup and one for the Unfe Salad soup.
invite your husband, women, ladies, invite your husband. Tell them to come to the class. It's a cooking class. Cooking class where we are going to cook the Edikaiko soup today and the Ibo soup called Ufe Usala, the white soup. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, wash my hands. I'm going to move the camera so that you can have a better view of the pot. I'm going to use this pot so I need to change. I need to change it from that other one to Clean up the spot for the soup. Clean up the spot for the soup. I've already prepared some stockfish and uh, dried uh, catfish this is the dried catfish okay it's soft enough and this is stockfish watching at Arsenal season highlights on my laptop here. So let's move close to and have a better view. Trying to position the camera somewhere you can have a better view, a better view of what I'm doing, and uh, so that you can also see the parts, what is going on inside. Okay, let me see like this, if possible. Just to be out of the picture, just to show you the, the food alone. I think it's better this way. It's 
better this way. Okay. So now you can see the water is not that much. So we're going to be putting the meat inside. fish this is the crayfish so I'm going to be putting some crayfish inside I will see put crayfish later on that's enough for now then the chili pepper where are you Chili pepper, where are you? Okay, let me use some fresh pepper. I'm going to use this. The Nigeria pepper. I'm going to use this so I'm going to be doing the slicing while we you just have a look at the meat the reason I put the meat again so that I want the water I want to reduce the water inside because these are a Dika Eka soup, you don't need water inside because the leaf I'm going to use, there is water already inside that leaf. So let me slice the pepper and the onion. Guys, I'm just slicing the pepper and the onion. So give me one, uh, one second. One second. As the chili slicing the onions now. After the onions,
Ok. Ok. This is the onions, ok. <laughs> Let me add one more onion to it. Let me add one onion to it, okay? I'm mimicking somebody anyway. There's somebody that, uh, when you want to say okay, they will say okay. I'm looking for trouble, Madam. Okay, I think that yam. Well, I'm not going to pan the yam, so just to blend it. So there's no problem with whether it's too done or not. On the normal day, I'll, I'll put the yam in the meat while it's done, then select the yam out. It doesn't matter. Okay, you can see the water is gone. You can see I have small water here. Okay, I don't want any water inside. I don't want any water inside. So, what I'm going to do now is to add some oil, some red oil. Okay, the oil is here. Let's see. Palm oil. to get some oil palm oil boom I need more salt Okay, the reason I'm putting the oil now so that the oil will, will done will be cooked with the meat. According to our local language, we should make the oil done inside. Let me add more, a little bit of oil to it. Okay, we we'll like to cook for like five minutes. Five minutes. I think this one is time for us to boil. To I'm going to to blend this yam. I'm going to blend it. So I think it's time for that. That the yam is for the other soup, not for this very soup. We'll give this five minutes. Let me start adding the whatever inside the fish. I have the mackerel fish. I smoke it in the oval. Mackerel fish. Smoked it. I'm going to use some for this and I'm going to use some for the other 
another soup. So before that, let me add my no mangi to it. Is another one I prefer using no <laughs> okay let me come and add my Let me add some lo locust, locust beans to it, just to give it that flavor. To give it that flavor, I like the flavor of these locust beans. Locust beans is called uh, is it dawa dawa in the Igbo side of Nigeria? Dawa dawa, that's it. Just put a little bit just to spice it up. You can see there's no no water inside. There's no water inside. When I put the leaf, the leaf I'm going to use is uh I'm going to use ugu leaf. Ugu leaf, which we sometimes call punky leaf. Then I'm also going to use spinach. Spinach, we call it. They call it spinach. Some people call it spinach. So let me add some meat to that. Okay. Let me add this, this is the smoke catfish and the, the what is it called um, stockfish. So I'm going to add it. Smoke uh, cut um, what is it called stockfish. The the this the smell of stockfish in the soup cannot be overemphasized. The smell and how you make the mm -hmm. soup taste mm -hmm. is very, very beautiful and very tasty. Here's my spoon. Let me just add a little bit of this sauce water to that. Give it that taste. You see there's no water at all inside. So at this moment now, I will just put the leaf. First of all, I put the ugu leaf. This is the ugu leaf. The ugu leaf. Just adding the ugu leaf to to the soup, to the edika eco soup. Then I will have the spinach later.
I need to monitor it so that I don't start burning. Okay, let's see. You can see there's no water inside at all. When I put the other leaf now, that that leaf have a tendency of bringing water out. So you see that leaf will bring water into this soup. I'm still coming to add the crayfish almost at the end to give it that unique taste of uh, crayfish too again so that when you are eating it you'll be tasting that crayfish oh, okay part one of the leaf It is finished. There's a lot of water in this leaf. It's just like our local water leaf back home. This is like our local water leaf back home. There's no difference between that and the water leaf back home. At the moment, let me reduce the fire. Use the fire to enable me go and blend the yam for the other soup. Okay, let me bring the final part of the spinach leaf. Is the spinach leaf so I'm just going to add it to this one and you will see how water will come out from it this is a decaico soup after this they will start the the film salad soup the Hebo soup, Ufe Osala, popularly called the white soup. Okay. Why I leave that one to steam? I get the blender to blend the yam. I just leave that one to steam. I get the blender to blend the yam. I'm using this to blend the yam for the other soup. And I'll shift the camera for you guys to see. Yam is sweet, white yam.
Okay, I'm about to blend the yam for the white soup. <clears throat> I'm about to blend the yam for the white soup. <sighs> Need to plug it. Let me add water to that. This yam is for the white soup. The other soup, the white soup. And just uh... still need more water. Thick, thick. You can see very, very thick. I need to add more water to that. Take more water. More and more water. Maybe I would have mashed the yam a little bit before putting it inside the blender. That would have helped a bit because it's very, very thick. You can see it's thick. So I want it to be blended smoothly. Smoothly. How smooth it is. Oh, nice. You see, look like a cum. Look like what we call pap. The pap. 
that's what we are going to use for the white soup the unfeil sala soup this is the meat for that one so yep we're done with that back to back to this See, there's water inside now because of the spinach leaf. Mm. I think I still need to add more leaf. And first of all, <clears throat> before doing anything again, let me transfer that that pot let me use a bigger pot I'm going to use this pot for the white soup so let me use this other bigger one I'll be transferring it to this I've had a little bit of oil, but I don't like too much oil. Yeah, there's space in this pot. See, so I'm going to add more leaf. Add more leaf. Increase the fire a little bit. I've not had my fish. Okay. Okay. Let me add some of the the smoke um dry the mackerel fish. The one we call what do we call it in our side? Scobion fish, yeah. You see? Scobion scubion fish, yeah. Okay, we need to add three of that one, not that too much. Yeah, there's no water, you see. You can see this ice made a dikaiko soup. Mm. Let me taste it and um, add some salt. Yep. One is finished. A decay cost soup. All the men watching hope you can see the procedure and you can as well go back to the video after i finish the video i'm going to upload it on my youtube channel then i will send the link on my facebook so you can always watch it there okay that's for that let me add one more mangi 
one more cube to it. I prefer this. So. You just leave it to done for like on the slow slow fire. You reduce the fire and just let it cook for like maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes then you're good to go so one more thing to do there let me add small small crayfish to it again here's my crayfish blended crayfish on the other fire and start the other soup but I think let's just let's be done with one then we start the other or should we just start see the leaf because of that leaf, there is a little bit of water in the soup, so I'm going to reduce the fire and just let it steam. Let it steam till for well, 10 minutes, okay. 10 past now. Okay, we are going to start the other soup now. I, I, I don't want the video to be too long. How many minutes now? Okay, anyway. Who will not be needed this? ingredients went with that pot so I'm trying to you see you see the water now coming from the leaf so we are going to leave it for some time for this water to go <clears throat> to dry out see see so that's why we are going to leave it for some time for that water to Trials. I'm just taking the remnant from the other pot. I'm adding it to this one. So, let me take care of this and uh, we start the other one. I'm giving Madame the treats today. I'm also teaching some men, even some women. So we may don't know how to cook. Oh, this is a 
Out from this way, okay. I'm starting the other one. Okay, let's take this one that is already almost done to that place. Then I'll start the new one here. Yeah. Don't want anything to burn inside, so I can scrape that one out. Okay, now Put the meat. That's the goat meat. Um, I have one more shaki and a body. I didn't want this soup to this other one to be that much, but. I still have a lot of meat, but I'll portion the meat and keep some in the fridge freezer. This is our body. Is bomo bomo bomo. This is the goat shaki. The white day is the cow cow shaki. Okay. This is a white soup. Need some salt because I didn't put enough salt when I was boiling that meat. I used to have uh, this, um, what is this called? Um, this leaf. Um, Tazi, Tazi leaf. Let me check the cupboard. I used to have it.
coming guys okay perhaps of dry or tazi leaf here yeah? some dry pepper so first the reformers let me add some pepper to them not too much I don't like too much pepper this soup needs water so I'll be adding more water to it After that, let me add some crayfish. Then my spoon for crayfish. This this crayfish is from Nigeria. From Nigeria, so we have a lot of nice thing in Nigeria. It's not only the negative news that we or people are hearing from the country. We also have uh, good stuff in. Nigeria. And we have good people too. So let's leave that to steam for like three to five minutes. Uh, let me add some mangi. Time to add mangi cube. This soup is not hard to cook. It's very easy once you put all the ingredients. You just you need more water, so I'm going to add more water to it. Let me see this. Oh, a lot of water, man. It needs to steam, and those water need to cool. This what those water came from the leaf, the spinach leaf. Okay. Let me add a little bit of water to this. Then let me use this for this, that for that. Come on. Oh, I feel a lot of chili. Chili, chili, chili pepper. It's good. With the chili pepper, 
soup you can always use it for pandelion I'm going to add this uh, dry cut fish dry cut fish you can see dry cut fish and the stock fish stock fish stock fish because I've, I've already boiled it with the meat before see how soft it is mm -hmm. more of the slow cut fish let me cut this one before me and my wife start dragging it because it's too big <laughs> okay more water more water more water more water yes oh. yes 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 I'm going to cover it now just for those ingredients to really stick in for like five minutes then we'll, we'll, we'll go to the next step we'll go to the next step next step okay let me add this fish this is macre. I smoke this macre from the um, microwave. Is it microwave? Sorry, <laughs> I said microwave. The oval. I've used some already in the other soup. I'm just going to add this to to this. Okay. Let me check this side. Let me check the dikaiko soup. That is going. Oh my God. Water is gone. Wow, that's good. Water is done, yeah. This one is okay now. Let me switch it up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, so delicious. Is so delicious, man. You never get a better taste than this. Mmm. Wow. 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 When I was in school then, there's one of my guy, his name is called Ali, Ali. When he's cooking soup or stew, when he's boiling the meat, guess what he do? Wow, it's yummy. When Ali is cooking, my friend then lives in the one of the hostel from my hostel. When he's cooking, when he's boiling the meat, especially, you will get a nylon bag. Let me show you an example. You get a nylon bag like this and use it to block the pot before it cover it. He said all the steam in order to prevent the steam from evaporating. 
So all the steam will go back inside the meat, and which I've tried several times. Exactly what he said. All the steam goes back into the meat. You cover the pot. You put a nylon bag on top here. Then before you cover with the cover of the pot. You see when you boil the meat, all the steam, no one will escape. They will all go back into the meat and they make the food taste so delicious. Seriously, I'm telling you, try it. Try it. Just when you want to boil your meat after putting all the seasoning and everything, you just put a nylon bag to cover the pot, then put the cover on top. It will prevent the steam from going out. Okay, that's for that. Now, let me add some locust beans to this as well. I like the taste of this locust beans in all my soup. Let's put a little bit of it. Okay. Okay. Fish to it. Hmm? And just put a little bit. Just a bit crayfish, you will never go wrong. Well, let me put it back to where it belongs. Yeah. Okay. Pepper. Oh, we need our tazi. Here come the magic. This is what makes the soup white soup. That's what I want to add now. What makes the soup, what makes the Igbo people call the soup or fail salad. That's what I want to add now. Time to add the blended yam. The yam that I blend, I boil the yam and I blend it, time to add it to the soup. Just keep watching. Okay, that's it. This is the reason it's called white soup. The Igbo call it Ofe Onsala. Ofe Onsala. Let me see how. Mm -hmm. It's called cream soup. <laughs> the cream soup. cream soup you can see you don't need to add oil you don't need to add any oil let me add more this is the yam I blended so this is what makes the soup unique. You add the blended yam. This is what makes the soup unique. It's called the Ofe Nsala soup in Igbo. Why we call it the white soup?
the white soup is almost there almost ready mm. the white soup is almost ready this is the umfe unsala soup ofe ibo call it ofe unsala mm. that is the name the ibo people call it so now i can choose to put some some um, utazi utazi leaf i'm just going to spice it up with a little bit of utazi leaf i don't want to put too much That's the utazi leaf. I just spice it up with a little bit of spicy uh, utazi leaf. I think that's what I will be putting. I don't want to put add too much. Guys, this is really, really, really delicious. Delicious. The last time I cooked this, man. You use you can use it for pandedium for pandedium let me see if I need more salt and just add a little bit That's the white soup, the Igbo soup. Let me allow it to steam for some some time. Then that is it. Okay, let me start clearing up, clearing and cleaning up. Cleaning and clearing. You are just joining this is the the white soup the ofe unsala soup you just want it to cook for like some minutes then before we round up That is the soup. We just want to give it some minutes to cook up, and um, that is it. So it's very simple, very easy to cook the both the dikaiko soup and the ufe sala soup. They are very very easy to cook. This is the dikaiko soup. That's it there. What is the other one? We are seeing the process of this. Uh, 
after this cooking class we still have two more classes so don't go we still have two more classes two more classes those are not cooking session one is a political class why one is a advice class we're going to discuss about the mistake women make in a relationship in a marriage so invite your friends invite your friends and I'm going to put a number there if you want to call in and have your own say you will be given the opportunity to call in too so this is one of the three classes we have today I've not been able to do a lot of video on my YouTube channel because uh, I was having an A fever so I couldn't talk properly so guys after this class we have two more classes one political one just for advice tip You can see the beautiful bubble, the beautiful bubble of the soup. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! need to monitor it constantly if not it just start burning from bottom so yeah it's thick enough this is the white soup the the Igbo call it ofe unsala soup this is the white soup you can go back when i upload this video on my youtube channel you can go back and see how the procedure how we started and that's the dikaiko soup that one is already done i will soon serve it in the dish so that you see the beauty of the soup i'm going to serve it in the dish i'll serve this one too so that you see how See, we taste it. Hmm, you can never go wrong when you get the formula. You can never go wrong. going to have two more classes after this after this cooking session we're going to have two more classes one political class the other one is advice the other one is going to be the mistake women make in their relationship and in their marriages they will also come to men Maybe that one will not be today. That will be another day. Wow.
That's the white soup. The yam soup. The Igbo soup. The Ofeo Sala soup. This head of fish. I, I expect you to go to the bottom. Why are you always coming to the top? Huh? Come on, go to the bottom. Next time, I'll just throw you in the bin. I can't tell people say they use it on fish cook soup. Yeah, yeah, fish. You can see it's thick enough. Yes. It's thick enough for pandarium. Just reduce it, let it steam a bit, and uh, just pick it up. Thank you guys. Just go on my YouTube channel and go and subscribe. If you have not subscribed, go and subscribe, man. Now, YouTube, we are going to do a lot of things with it. The YouTube channel is there for a purpose. Go and watch my video there. And click like and also subscribe. Let me start tidying up. Yam porridge. <laughs> it looks like Liam porridge. Just doing the tidy up. I've not been seeing comments. Because I swap it to the side. Let me see if there's any comment, any thing I need to respond to. <laughs> I will post your own, no worry. <laughs> I'm a chef, yeah. A chef with a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Abio <laughs> Ekuda your money you bright you see tell me how corona won't take me at this house <laughs> this kind of house I beg you 
<laughs> Jessica, I see you. Is it bros? Now only you come. <laughs> Star mess your room. Bye bye. I greet you. I greet you, Messi. I greet you. Happy Saturday. Prince we bosh you. You say a basic you say make I tell you say you go chop Kaftere. I cite you, I greet you too. Man, thank you all for your comments. And those that didn't comment, thank you all for watching as well. And just doing the finishing touch. Just to tidy up everything and make everywhere neat. Hmm? I'm sweating after this. I need to go and have my, have my shower, man. Here's my ice cream. Maybe that could be ice cream. My lollipop. Okay. Mm. Okay. Don't go yet. We have two more classes. After the soup session, I just take a break, freshen up. Then we'll come to the other class. And that out. I'm going to show you the beauty of this soup. You guys that have already subscribed to my YouTube channel is on my Facebook. I say thank you guys. Thanks for your support. Please share every video there for your friend to come. And also like and subscribe. that I would have making a lot of video every day but because of work one can stay on the live video every day I can only have weekend to myself to do that okay Any of my Igbo friends we have, you will understand this, this soup.
Okay, let me show you something. This is how it look when saved. This is the decay core. You can see how it look. You can see how it look. And this is the white soup, the infant salad soup. You can see even it is very delicious in the eyes alone. Mm -hmm. You can see the two of them together. That's the decay core. Why is this the infant salad soup? The white soup. Delicious, man. It cannot be more than this. At all. Delicious. On this note, I will say thank you guys for watching and I'm going to load this video. I'll, I'll be ending this video now. I'm going to load it on my YouTube page and I will share it on my Facebook. Please try and share the link in your page too. Share it to every of your friends. Share it to our Proco and everybody. And invite your friend to come and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That YouTube channel is open for a big thing in future. So I say thank you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back online in a few moments from now to discuss about politics and to also have another session again to discuss about the mistake women make in their relationship. Thank you and God bless you.